So having said that we'll have an artefact repository for our images, movies, sounds and other large binaries, how do we get them in there? Well, as our build system knows how to publish artefacts, what we're going to do is use another build config. That way we'll have a simple command that can bundle up a bunch of binary files and publish them to our artefact repository as a resource library with a name and a version. We're also going to synchronize our binary files and their build config with another version control repository. That might seem like a strange thing to do. Wasn't the whole reason we put them in the artifact repository so we could keep them out of the version control repository? Well, committing our changes to a version control repository means we can keep metadata about those changes, who changed what, why, and when. But now that our binary files are in a separate version control repository, the size of those changes isn't going to impact on the main source code repository. And binary files, media, sound, and images, are usually much more separable than our code is. If the repository we're storing our media in grows too big, we should be able to split it or prune it much more easily than we could with our source codes repository. This arrangement also means we don't have to commit every update to our images that we want to share. If we're making frequent small changes, we can republish the resources library on the artifact repository without checking the changes into version control yet. Our teammates' builds will pick up the new version from the artifact repository, even though it's not in the version control repository. Then, when we think we've reached a good checkpoint in our work on the images, we can commit the latest version back into the version control repository. To do this, we need to set the version number of our resources libraries to be a snapshot. Normally, build systems cache the libraries they download, so our teammates' builds might just use the version in the cache and not see that we've updated it. Setting the version number to be a snapshot tells the build system that it should check to see if a more recent snapshot has been published. 